This video is brought to you by DistroKid. So if I look cross-eyed, it's because I'm wearing my old glasses. They don't have the right prescription. So I have two choices. Either I wear these glasses that make me go cross-eyed, right? Or, or my only other backup pair of glasses are these prescription sunglasses. So maybe you just wear the sunglasses for the screen. But we start poll. Everybody put your votes in. But before the video, really quickly, if you've been on this channel before, you know that DistroKid is the best way to release music onto online stores and streaming services. Stuff like iTunes, Spotify, Apple Music, YouTube Music, Amazon, Deezer, Tidal, and so many more. DistroKid collects earnings and payments and sends 100% of these to artists. And yeah, you know that. But did you know that DistroKid also offers automatic revenue splits, which makes collaborating and releasing that music super easy? Hyperfollow, which gives you a pre-saved marketing page within minutes of uploading your music, lyric support which lets you add lyrics to your songs and will send them to services for you, and global timed release dates. And there's even more in this goodie menu, but I don't want to take up any more of your time. Thank you, DistroKid, for sponsoring this video. You allow me to keep doing this. Now, enjoy the rest of this cursed creation. We have Dubstep in the lead, but with Hyperpop coming in close. Poll's almost ending. And it looks like we have dubstep with 69% of the vote. As they say, melodic dubsteps. Okay, Alan Walker vibes. Is Alan Walker dubstep? BPM, 69, 420 getting three votes. 150, 69, 420 taking the lead. No! I believe. Do the key. Yeah. All right, give me suggestions for the key. I see B flat minor. Starting pull now. The keys are in. What about a mode of a minor? I'm not that music theory nerdy, but if we if that does get chosen, I will have to watch a video. But at the end of the day, it's just like circling back to the same thing. You can still technically call it E minor, even though you started it on a G. Like the same way we're calling C major A minor because they share the same key signatures. That's the thing with music theory. Like you learn a few concepts and then a lot of it just kind of wraps around on itself and is like very redundant. It's just like a bunch of different names for the same thing. It's just the way they are categorizing everything, but it's like getting to the point where it's just like subcategories of subcategories of subcategories. So don't don't sweat music theory too too much. Are we really doing a melodic dubstep song in C major? It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's okay. It's okay. This is your choice. I'm gonna produce for a little bit. And then anytime I'm stuck, I'll pick random things from the chat. We're just, we're testing it out. Just so we're not stuck doing polls and I'm <laughs> and I'm not actually making any music. Uh, let's make a chord progression. Uh, C major. It's like one of those long chord progressions. I'm vibing with that. Yeah, digging the synth. Yeah, we got Rhodes, baby. Uh, maybe I changed this last chord as well, actually. Ooh. Oh, oh, that's good. That's good. Give me suggestions for for instruments that could like go as a lead lead time. All right. I saw banjo. I saw guitar, uh, bell, ukulele. Got there. Oh, the ukuleles neck and neck with the guitar. Oh, no. <laughs> the banjo. Banjo running up, but the ukulele is coming from behind. Oh, no. Trust me, trust me on this one. I will make it work. We'll make it work. Ukulele. All right, I'm trying to still hit dubsteps. You know I'm gonna run it through like 12 OTTs. Oh, that's kind of cool. Hang on, hang on. This is gonna be kind of sick. So I think I'm just gonna like run it with triplets. Yo, there's mad potential here. It does remind me of San Holo. Let's turn the ukulele into a bass hit. Am I a good enough producer to do that? We do texture, grain side. Let's do fat rack. And then we do this. Insta growl coming in clutch. So random. <laughs> It's not even good. Also, it doesn't feel like there's enough bass. Let's make like a little bare bones intro so it like feels like it's going somewhere. Oh, we could get like some indie vibes going. We have been 
in the Kai. That's very ukulele. Hang on. That's not bad. I don't hate it. Okay, okay. Bird ambience, ocean intros. Okay. Let's go seagulls ASMR. Is that possible? Is that a thing? Seaside seagull ASMR. Oh, that's it. Hang on. Quiet, everybody. I'm recording. Is it called a steel pan or steel drum? That might be chaotic enough for a buildup. Let's do it. What do we got so far? I'm making it a lot more like repetitive. We need like a glass breaking at the beginning. I want like beachy vocal melody. I'm beach. That's it. That's it. <laughs> All right, I think we got it. <laughs> Presenting melodic dubstep jam that Twitch chat has graciously provided for us. Calling it Beach Banger E4 Val. All right, run it back. got sunglasses on and the, the sun is bright all right so that's that like and subscribe if uh if you enjoyed this cursed creation